Manohar Aich was an Indian bodybuilder who died in 2016 at the age of 104. He's considered to be the world's oldest bodybuilder in history. This is kind of interesting because bodybuilders are thought to die at a young age, usually in their 40s, 50s and 60s. What was so special about Manohar that enabled him to become a centenarian while being a bodybuilder at the same time? And while also living in India where the average life expectancy was below 30 years at the time of Manohar's birth? In this video we're going to look at Manohar's story and to gain some insight into his diet, fitness and other aspects of longevity. So make sure you click a like and subscribe for future videos of living longer and staying healthier. Manohar was born in 1912 in eastern Bangladesh where the life expectancy at birth was only 21 years of age. He was very short, only 150 centimeters or 4 feet and 11 inches, which is why he was called Pocket Hercules. Despite being short, Manohar started exercising and doing wrestling and weightlifting in his early childhood. In 1942 he joined the Royal Air Force of the United Kingdom because India was still occupied by Great Britain at the time. In the Air Force he learned to do bodybuilding and his supervisors supported his goals. Manohar had slapped a British officer because of politics and was thus put in jail where he began to lift more seriously. He remained in jail until the independence of India in 1947. In 1952, at the age of 40, he won the first place in the pro short division of the Naba Mr. Universe competition. This is kind of a big deal as Manohar was the second Indian to ever win this title and he did it on the third anniversary of the competition. That's why he's also called the father of of Indian bodybuilding. Overall I would say that his bodybuilding physique was pretty decent especially if you look at the time of the 1950s. He probably wouldn't have been able to compete in things like the Mr. Olympia contest but he did certainly was at the top tier when it comes to Asian bodybuilding. I also think he was probably natural as he wasn't a mass monster and not crazy ripped like you started to see in the following golden era bodybuilders. After his 40s Manohar won a few other Asian bodybuilding championships. In 2011 he had a minor stroke and wasn't able to lift weights but he was still involved in fitness. His son had a gym in India where he was helping until the day he died. And Manohar was a cultural icon in the Indian fitness and bodybuilding industry until his death. His fitness routine pretty much consisted of standard bodybuilding exercises as well as calisthenics. But what did he eat? He credited his good health to a simple diet of milk, fruits and vegetables along with rice, lentils and fish. Manohar obviously came from a poor family and he had problems with money in his early life. But he said he always maintained a positive mindset and never allowed any tension to get a hold of him. So he didn't have a super complex diet and it definitely wasn't like a common bodybuilder diet with chicken breast and rice. He was struggling financially as well so he probably wasn't able to afford a lot of protein. But that makes his physique and longevity even more impressive. So why did Manohar live so long when other bodybuilders die in the 30s and 40s? Well the biggest reason is using steroids. I have no reason to think that Manohar was using steroids. He was never super massive, he was never super ripped and his physique is perfectly achievable naturally. Manohar was also a poor guy from India so he probably wasn't able to afford steroids and this was actually good for his longevity. Steroids started to be used in bodybuilding only in the 1950s and you can see a dramatic shift in the muscularity of bodybuilders after the 1950s and 60s. The second reason might be that he was very short. 150 centimeters or 4 foot 11 is very short even compared to Indian standards at the time. In the year 1910 the average height of Indians was 162 centimeters which is taller than Manohar and Manohar was probably shorter than average because of coming from poverty with less protein and other quality nutrients responsible for height. Does being shorter have longevity benefits then? Larger animals typically live longer than smaller animals. Whales live exponentially longer than mice. However, within the same species, smaller individuals might live longer, of course to a certain extent. For example, smaller dogs live longer than larger dogs. We don't know if it's the case with humans, but excess growth hormone production is associated with accelerated aging and shorter life, whereas growth hormone deficiency tends to be linked to better longevity and a lower risk of cancer. Now, the only exception is people with dwarfism who uh, have mutations that uh, make them produce much less growth hormone. Now these individuals do have lower rates of cancer but they don't live exponentially longer than the average person. So there might be some sort of a sweet spot that if you don't have these mutations but you're slightly smaller in size then you might reap some of the benefits. But if you're excessively large and you produce too much growth hormone and you experience what is called gigantism then you have a higher risk of mortality as well and you die prematurely. Third, Manohar might have had longevity genes but it's hard to know that because his parents probably died at a normal age for the average Bangladeshi. Given the fact that Manohar was much shorter than his peers, he might have also had genetics for low IGF-1 and low growth hormone production. If you combine that with food shortages and protein restriction in his childhood, because of poverty, you'll get someone who is very short 
and theoretically would age lower. Of course, being malnourished is a risk factor for mortality and shorter life expectancy. So for Manohar to have lived longer, he would have needed to get adequate nutrients later in his life and avoid the malnutrition, which he apparently did. Lastly, his physically active lifestyle and building muscle definitely had a beneficial effect on his longevity. In your 80s, 90s and 100s, being too skinny or frail is very dangerous. And given that Manohar kept exercising well into his centenarian years, it had a positive impact. Overall, it's very interesting to see Manohar to have lived so long, especially given the fact that he came from a poor background and he struggled with food intake. He might have had some positive longevity genetics, but I think the physically active lifestyle and exercise was more important. So Manohar is currently the oldest body bodybuilder to have ever lived. The current oldest bodybuilder in the world is Jim Arrington from the US who's 91 years old at the moment. He's got over 10 years to go to beat Manohar's record but Jim still exercises almost every day and he is competing in bodybuilding shows. So if you're doing bodybuilding in the natural way and you're not using any of these anabolics then it will have a positive effect on your longevity mostly by reducing the risk of frailty and sarcopenia later in life. If you want to know my evidence-based workout routine for longevity then check out this video. Other than that thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. My name is Seem. Stay optimized. Stay empowered.